Hey y'all, it's Josiah with the Film Culture News. Social media has been in uproar since Tyler Perry's newest project. Stars from Oprah to Keisha Knight Pulliam made appearances at the Saturday Night Gala grand opening of Tyler Perry Studios. The 330-acre estate-like studio is the only black-owned studio in the country. The dozen stages in the project are named after many black Hollywood icons from Tenzel Washington to Spike Lee. Later down the line, he plans to build a compound for displaced women somewhere in the 330 acres. Perry highlighted that there is a poetic justice element to this space as it was built on top of a former Confederate Army base. Ahead of opening the studio, Perry noted that he feels ignored in the film industry. I clearly believe that I'm, I'm ignored in Hollywood for sure, and that's fine. I get it. Is, wait a second, is that fine? It is. My audience and the stories that I tell are African-American stories specific to a certain audience, specific to a certain group of people that I know that I grew up with, and we speak a language. Hollywood doesn't necessarily speak the language. A lot of critics don't speak that language. So for, to them, it's like, what is this? Most of Perry's work came from the hardships he endured in his life, from being homeless and sleeping in his car to getting beat as a child. Seeing the sign of his studio's name on the Atlanta highway made it more purposeful. More or less, building the studio is his first step to more greatness. With the Film Culture News, it's Josiah. Be sure to follow the Film Culture to keep up with all things on black culture. Peace.